West Texas. Pretty active, so. Yeah, good. I'm glad that it's no longer monsoons and it's yeah. moving into monsoons. Oh, hey, been, for been hey, fun. just a heads up for anybody that's uh, tuning in, whether it's live or you happen to be catching the stream of our video. Uh, welcome to Stormfront Freaks Raw. Uh, we call it raw, and someone's eating chips or something. Fuck, Mike, is that you? I'll mute it. I'll mute it. I need, a, I, need a, I, need a, I need a protein bar. <laughs> it wasn't me. This time. I just finished mine. Thank, you know, thank God this is raw, right? Because this this shit's not going to be actually on the uh, audio podcast. <laughs> but, warming, warming me up for my editing. Yeah, yeah Mar, Mar, MJ's going to be busy with the edit button, I think, uh, after tonight. But anyway, if you're catching us on video... Raw, it's because this this is the recording of the podcast. Uh, you get to catch all the pre, post, uh, our breaks, catch everything that we're going to end up editing out for the podcast. I will tell you this: it's uh, usually if you're watching Raw, uh, it's 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 a pretty good PG thirteen. Um, I've got a feeling tonight because we are pulling weather Trollbot five thousand out of the garage. Oh, nice! Th- this be. is going to be this this is going to. Pe- push our sensors to maybe an R rating. I'm not quite sure. Um, so if, if, uh, if you want to just listen to the show after it's been edited and we've maybe beeped out some of the words that aren't appropriate for the kiddos, definitely listen, beeped out. Some uh, yeah. Maybe stop now and just listen to the podcast. When we publish that usually Sunday following our, our, uh, recording our broadcast. Uh, and that's, that's our, that's definitely our PG version uh, of the show, but if you happen to be watching, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've got a great, unbelievable show tonight. I, I called it the uh, Titan Roundtable of Storm Chasers. Uh, we got Daniel Shaw, Hank Shima, and Michael Binsky joining us, along with our own Greg Johnson, uh, and we're definitely gonna gonna have a good time tonight. So um, uh, hang in there, and uh, we're gonna start the uh, broadcast or recording uh, shortly. Do we have a Daniel Shaw? I don't know where the hell. What time is it there anyway? Nine. It's, like it's nine, nine o'clock it's in gonna the be, morning. It's going to be yeah. nine in the morning. Yep. Yeah. Nine he's in the you, morning. He he's usually right going to bed at the same time we're going to bed, though. Yeah. I noticed that because I, I <laughs> noticed when he's chiming in on the, uh, the the Facebook messenger. I'm like, what? what is he still doing up? It's like. <laughs> no, but you guys have met Daniel, right? Yeah. He, he's probably just oh, yeah. doesn't they sleep. All, like, he's um, just. Yeah, right. He's, yeah, yeah. Listen, doing Daniel. I'll, I'll tell you the one person. I mean, there was a lot of people that I, you know, friends with around the world that come chase this year that couldn't come this year. But Daniel's probably my favorite person. We get we hang out a lot when we're out there because yeah. we we seem to go, you know, late into June into places that not a lot of other. I mean, there's still chasers, diehard chasers in Montana and stuff in late June, but um, we always seem to go to the same places and then. <laughs> Join them in Applebee's for a giant. I've never seen a guy um, go to Applebee's at midnight and order a steak and a baked potato and like shrimp when it's like about you're about to go to bed and he's just sitting there with this giant plate of food. <laughs> I love him so much. He's put, the best, put, man. put Christine's <laughs> comment back up there. Uh, she says, Where's Daniel? Does he have an issue oh, yeah. with his color balance? Oh, that's an inside yeah. joke. Yeah, yes. that's a very inside joke. He's, he is definitely <laughs> job, a. Uh, a color, a video prima donna. When it comes do you guys to, uh, remember? You know, he, he put Camille? up a very blue photo um, la- a couple of years ago that I gave him crap about. I think that's what Chris was referring to. <laughs> <laughs> no, he. Hey, last time he was on our show, Mike, he 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 took more time trying to get his camera angle right <laughs> and the color balance and the lighting right than any of us did. Oh yeah, uh, we're like, and then he's the sound, he's and he's checking. Right yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Hank, right. you got interrupted by Phil. Yeah, he's I, no, I, Phil I, I totally was, interrupted I was interrupting. you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, did, did you guys remember in To Kill a Mockingbird when the Cunningham boy came over and he poured syrup all over his breakfast, and <laughs> and and Scout says, "What in Sam hell are you doing?" That's what. Daniel yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, he right. just drenches his whole eggs and his bacon, just syrup <laughs> like like this all over. <laughs> I've got video of him doing it too. So I I just get amazed at what he eats at the end of a chase because usually, like for me, I'm like, well, I'm about to go to bed. I don't need a big meal. I just need a little little something. 
you know, because usually we don't eat very much. And then as you're out shooting lightning till 11, and then I see what he eats even at 12 or 1 in the morning. I'm like, man, you're going to regret that tomorrow. But maybe he doesn't. He's Daniel Schott. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's, he's got to have enough energy to go from table to table to table to oh, yeah. table to table in the Applebee's, A big talking taxi. to every other person in the restaurant. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to stop talking about him once he gets on here. We'll have to know. because we, he'll, he'll start yeah. talking. Yeah, we won't have time. We better talk now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, he's the best. I don't know where he is. He's busy. He's, Probably uh, some breaking news that he's out there shooting right now. Some like something horrible happening in Sydney out of nowhere. All right. I was hey, we were uh, having how's barbecue the... and uh, I was just gonna say we're having barbecue in Kansas City once. A chaser on a down day, a bunch of chasers meeting up, and on the way, he was. He got on the scene of like an accident or a p police arrest of a woman and was photographing the whole thing, like just on his way to have lunch. And I'm like, how do you even see that stuff? Like he just he, he that stuff just comes to him. Like he just knows how to find it. It's crazy. MJ, how's my sound? Here, here he is. To everybody. <laughs> Your sound is good. OK. <laughs> Hello. About there fucking time. Oh, look at that. Fashionably late. <laughs> Remember, uh, I'm ahead of you as far as time's concerned. So as far as I'm concerned, you're all late. <laughs> now that the now that the tone has been set, oh, it's so good to see you guys. Would have preferred somewhere in Nebraska, but you know what? This this will this will do. <laughs> oh, Hank. By the way, uh, B Bennington. Just I see sorry. it. I was going to ask, is that Bennington? It is. Yeah, it's about four pixels by four pixels on my screen, but you can tell it's Bennington. <laughs> oh, it's bigger than four pixels. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> it's great to see you guys. Okay. Hello, everyone. You missed right. it, Daniel. We've been smash, talking smash dirt about you. Yeah, yeah you have to you're... watch a live broadcast. We've I thought I'd, the Daniel plan stories. was to come in last, just to just to add effect, like what's happened to Dan? Has something gone wrong? Yeah, no, I forgot where my makeup was, and I had to get the pine water. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Cheers, everyone. Water. That's okay. It gave us lots of time to talk about you. We talked shit for about fifteen minutes about oh, you. Oh, I'm I'm looking. I'm looking for the playbacks. The best part. Now that should yeah. be in focus. Well, actually, it's not really in focus, but it will be shortly. Now the color balance. <laughs> this was one of the reason why I was late, like forty seconds late. Stuff you want on cue. Um, uh, yeah. Is yeah. Is I can bring my Irish down a bit. Is I I've got a new capture device, which actually now makes me not look like an oompa loompa. <laughs> and Greg, you need more front lighting. Mike, just you need to control the sun a bit better. Now that the tank's been set, okay, lovely. Uh, I'll right. be ready to go in about 10 15 minutes. Just give me some time just to set up All the right. lighting. So, okay, so on that note, everybody, <laughs> Hello, uh, uh, everybody looks, uh, looks, looks good. Uh, Mike, MJ, everyone sound pretty equal. I think so. Mike, you uh, talk again just a little bit. Me, or yeah, no, I'm different, yeah. How's that? Is that good? Is that yeah? Good? That's good. That'll work. Yep. Perfect. Right. Uh, mute your phones if you got them. If you're not using them, Mike. I'm on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so here's what we'll do. Uh, we'll get started. I'll I'll get into the uh, intro of the show. Uh, briefly mention who we got on. Uh, we do. We then introduce who from the team is on the show by finding out what they're drinking. So I'll cover MJ and Greg with that. And then I will introduce uh, Daniel, Hank, and Mike, um, and we'll get started with uh, chatting. You guys good with that? Yep. Love it. <laughs> go yep. for it. Everybody good? All right. So here we go. Three, two. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the most entertaining weather podcast on your listening and viewing device. This is the award-winning Stormfront Freaks podcast. Uh, if you want to check out some more, you can always uh, go to stormfrontfreaks.com. We've got our entire library of past shows, uh, storm chasers, TV meteorologists, uh, heck, video game developers uh, making storm chasing video games, National Weather Service staff, and more. Uh, check all those out. We've got some great shows. But this tonight is episode 112, 112, and it's a special show tonight, a little bit, uh, little bit different format than we typically have. Uh, we're going to have a roundtable discussion with Storm Chasers Daniel Shaw, Hank Shima, and Michael Binsky. Uh, so we're looking forward to uh, chatting with those guys as, as well as our own Greg Johnson. 
Uh, we've also got our lightning round, which is going to be fun. Greg's actually going to be our lightning round game show host, so I'm I'm going to do the game show. You got the prizes. All, you got all the prizes lined all, up. They're already. That, I've got it ready to hit the mail right as on. soon as we find this the winner. Problem. Good. Uh, I did. I want I want everybody to know. I, I on the way in today. Uh, I stopped in the garage to pull out Weather Trollbot 5000. She's been in the garage yes. for a little while. I noticed, I, I want to say this, uh, it looked like there's maybe been a mouse in her wiring. <laughs> so I really don't know what to expect tonight. I sure. maybe should warn everybody, we're usually a pretty good PG show. We might push PG-13 sometimes. Um, uh, it, it, w- for the audio, I know I'm like, I'm, I don't know how to explain this, but uh, we could be pushing the R rating tonight. So uh, the audio podcast, we'll make sure we do a better job of editing that. But if you are watching us live or, or the stream, uh, just be aware and have the earmuffs for the kiddos. But I'm guessing if you really so, want to hear any of it, you got to be watching the raw. So Oh, so we can't say the word. Uh, well, you can. <laughs> you can say it, but for the audio podcast, we do edit that out. So, Mike, if you want your kids <laughs> to see what Dad's doing, doing, have them listen. Don't have Mike, them watch. My uh, kids that, don't that care what I'm doing. doing. The mission is <laughs> There you go. So, MJ's got to keep track of the timing tonight because uh, he'll have to edit everything out. But anyway, and we'll also, at the end of the show, we'll announce who our next, uh, next guest is going to be on our next episode. Uh, But before we get to all of that, uh, we always got to introduce who from our team happens to be on tonight. Uh, It's always happy hour when we we record. It doesn't matter where you are. Heck, you might be in Australia uh, like Daniel, but it's always happy hour. So we find out what everybody's drinking because, uh, heck, that's the kind of show we are. We like to have fun. So MJ, our our Skywarn net control operator up in Minnesota, what are you drinking tonight? Well, tonight I've got the Stormfront Freaks mug out, of course, and I have... uh, Again, Castle Cream Ale from uh, Castle Danger Brewing up in Two Harbors, Minnesota. I've had that before. It's good stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, uh, Greg Johnson, our storm chaser and, and uh, star of Tornado Hunters. We're suffering to, through a, a heat wave up here, and uh, so I'm drinking vodka tonight <laughs> with, a little, with a little grape juice, oh, keeping, it, say keeping it light. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's healthy. You got the grape juice, so that's yeah. What I got matters. the grape juice in there. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and and uh, get to our guest. So, uh, what are you drinking, Phil? Uh, I am drinking a little New York seltzer root beer with some uh, Sugarland Shines uh, root beer moonshine in a red cup. In a red solo <laughs> cup, I fill you up. All right. So here we let's get to our guest. So first off, uh, Daniel Shaw. Uh, Daniel often chases severe weather in Sydney and captures events for the local media. He serves as news director for Severe Weather Australia. And every year, except this year, he travels to the United States between April and June to seek out some of the world's most powerful storms. We also have uh, Picos Hank Shima. Hank is uh, also known as Picos Hank. He's a musician and songwriter as well as filmmaker and professional storm chaser. He's based in Houston, Texas. Uh, He's directed, produced a catalog of storm and nature documentation on the Weather Channel, Discovery Channel, National Geographic, and more. And then uh, we also got Michael Binsky. Mike, he calls himself a storm-chasing wedding photographer. He's based out of Phoenix, Arizona, and when he's not shooting weddings, he's chasing storms across the desert southwest, like tonight, and uh, (laughs) the central plains and more. Uh, he creates amazing time-lapse films a few times a year, and his work has been seen across the world in commercials, documentaries, magazines, and even films. So, gentlemen, I, I want to kind of start things off a little bit tonight. Um, th- the initial request went out to Daniel at one point, and Daniel's been a guest. All of you have been a guest with us in the past, but, you know, we went back to Daniel, said, hey, let's, uh, let's get you back. It's, it's been a little while. And, and he said, sure. But let's also get uh, Hank and Mike back as well. And I'm like, well, what the hell? Let's give it a shot. And, <laughs> and so uh, we got the, the three of you to uh, join us tonight. My question is, how the hell are the three of you even connected? What's, what's your origin story? It has nothing to do with storm chasing. <laughs> this, this is, Mike's actually, this is a, tr- this is a true story. We, we actually, we've known each other since 1986 as great mm-hmm. friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a complete total lie. It's storms. Yeah. It's all goods of clouds. Nothing gets to it. Yeah. 
We oh, I was, was going to keep rolling with it, Daniel. Yeah, well, but, but I knew you were going to do that, so I had to cut you off beforehand. But no, <laughs> what was your idea? I want to I hear, what was your story? How did we meet in our past I gonna, lives? I was going to tell them about how we used to build skateboards together. What the hell? Oh, I don't know. Is, I just, there's is, a skateboard right. right there, and I just thought it just kind of <laughs> came out. So is, is tonight's theme? Is this is tonight's theme just lie about everything? <laughs> yes. Yeah, going to be our. The, the, of the plan was to. It's us versus you, and you don't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe well, you, you control the mic. So. I'm I'm gonna I'll, I'm, I'm gonna kidding. say this. Uh, I'll say this right off the top of this show, Phil. Um, uh, you've got the three road warriors of storm chasing here. And uh, the rest of us are just uh, playing in the sandbox next to these three guys when it comes to visuals. And uh, I'm thrilled to have have you guys on and get a chance to talk. And we've all met before and uh, tipped a few drinks here and there. Uh, I've got a question. Phil, are we? Are, can I just get right into this, or do you got go. some else, somewhere go, else you want to go? This, no, th this is uh, this is just we're chatting. Bunch of okay. boys chatting together. So, uh, uh, Mike, last year uh, you kind of got hooked up with Brett, and you guys were were, yeah. were have been have been chasing together. But for Daniel and Hank and Mike, prior to Brett, like you were you were a solo uh, yeah. solo chaser as well. Yeah. Uh, how in the hell do you guys do it? Like, I, I'm gonna I, I want to first go to Daniel on this and go, okay, like Dan, you you you're rocking like 14 CB channels. You've got. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you've got the 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 you know the National Weather Service on on the line. I think you have a do you have a direct line to them or something? You're you're live streaming, you're tweeting, you're driving, you're navigating, dude. What the hell? Okay, um, exclusive to the Stormfront freaks. I'm not human. Just, <laughs> okay. just put it out there now. Not on this planet. Came from this 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 galaxy about 16 light, light years away. And that's that's how I do it. So you've heard it here first. No, the answer to that is for some reason um, I can multitask really well, and I'm very good at prioritizing that. I do run a lot of gear, but visuals, communications, it all comes together. It's almost like a Zen type thing. So when those big things are happening, it's almost like robotic. A lot of people get excited, scream, and and say this is incredible, and they say it's, it must be such an adrenaline rush. I actually want it to be the other way around. If you're in the moment, as a lot of people say, you should have been filming three minutes beforehand and should already be published. That's my <laughs> analogy. No, I'm, I'm serious about that. If you're in the moment, you've just missed three minutes to publish what you've already seen. That's how I do it. Focusing, focusing really carefully, carefully on what you're capturing, not just in a live environment, but in post-production, knowing how it's going to roll out and how to control the audio so the edit's going to come out well, not just for live, but for post-production. Hank's very big with audio as well. So is Mike. It's very important. Hank? <laughs> you know, it's funny that Greg asked that because I always wondered how Greg does it. Like every time you see Greg, he's got a crew, there's cameras yeah. and jumping around. It's like, how the hell can you chase storms? And he's got this amazing looking vehicle. So every time he pulls over, you know, everybody's got to talk to him and take, how do you catch a tornado with all that nonsense going on? And you see, and yet he still does it. Well, <laughs> all right, let's stop Not this year. ass now and let's get to the real shit. Yeah, I'm on. serious. I don't know. Oh, Mike, 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 do Mike, do you like it better now that, yeah. that somebody else is driving? Well, so I started chasing in Arizona, which is pretty simple. So I started off chasing solo by myself, just trying to get lightning. And that's how I did it. And when I first started going to the planes, I just flew out and rented a car and tried to do it by myself. A couple of times I had my buddy with me, but I really, really enjoy chasing solo because I don't know, nobody, I don't have to make mistakes that affect other people. I don't have to have other people tell me to do something and that ruin something that I was, I could have been on that if I would just listen to my own gut. Um, actually, and, and Brett is one of my best friends, I mean, in the world. And I have him along when I do like the tours because I had a couple of people with us and I want someone to share the driving. Cause you know, sometimes we're driving nine hours from place to place and we don't get a lot of sleep and that's been really nice. But when I'm not doing tours, I love, I just love being out there by myself. I think early on, I remember once going out by myself, and sleeping in a hotel parking lot one morning, 
than getting up and driving and seeing this beautiful Kansas sunrise and just getting out of the car like barefoot. Um, just like, you know, having showered in days and see this beautiful sun coming up in a windmill. And I'm like, this is heaven. And I, and no one knows where I am and no one knows what I'm, I'm capturing. And I'm kind of just here on my own. And it was kind of, you know, my escape and I love it. And I don't know, you know, I know these guys are the same way. I'm, I'm pretty good at multitasking and I've, I think just kind of train myself to be able to just do it all at the same time somehow. All right. Yeah, so I mean, a, I, I, I go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. Well, I've, I've got a question for all of you, including you, Greg. So, so 2020, um, and Daniel, you've you've been uh, down in lovely Australia. Uh, so 2020, I, I want each of you to kind of tell me what what has your experience been chasing this year, and Daniel, tell me who has been servicing your vehicle while you've been gone. Oh, my, my vehicle. My beloved little Rav's locked up in a little storage center in Las Vegas. It's so crying lonely. at the moment. The little headlight's got like a little tear coming from it. It's like, <laughs> let me out. Let me out. 2021, 20, 2022, 20, or whatever. I, we can get back when the flights are back open and travel insurance exists again. I'll, I'll be reunited once again to my beloved little Rav, which is lovely. Um, 2020's been an uh, interesting season for chasing, not so much for storms, but for bushfires. Uh, I'm sure you would have seen the coverage in Australia. The fires that took out a fair whack of Australia were just off the planet insane. Watching buildings catch on fire, watching fire fronts come through. I covered a bit of that this year, more so than storms because, well, lack of moisture, lots of heat, lots of wind. Yeah, but did you have a super cellular fire tornado? <laughs> yeah. That was stupid. We had I mean those are common now. These are those are pretty common these days now. <laughs> Super cellular fighter. There was one in California the other day. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. Tornado warning. I think it was was it for the very first time a tornado warning was issued off a fire? Yes. That's biblical. This is a twenty another twenty twenty thing. But yeah, this <laughs> this year's this year's been and last end of last year's been the season of fires in Australia and spiders. It may, it's may it's not always the season of spiders. What, uh, Hank, 2020? Man, it was uh, my least productive year, and I've never chased as hard as I have chased is, is this year. I mean, I went, I went and saw Daniel at the beginning, you know, in 2019, at the end of 2019 in Australia and struck out in Darwin. And uh, since then, it's just been, it's been not what we're used to. So it, it's kind of nice because it's like most of us, you know, you see the, you look at the parameters, you go out, you get your tornado, you come home. And so we kind of, I, I think I took that for granted and now I'm, I'm hungry again. Mike, uh, for me, you know, um, it was like a mixed year. I think like, I love structure. You guys know, I like to do time lapse and photography and structure and lightning are like almost, I mean, I like a tornado, but the other stuff to me is just as good, if not better. And so on the structure side of it, it was a magnificent year. And I want to say that I don't know how, but I feel like on until like the end of June when I kind of quit and came home, I think I was on almost every like one of the like name supercells that people say like Sublet, Crawford, whatever. And I think like somehow, especially when I was with Brett, like we made really good decisions this year, which was like crazy. So I got to see like amazing structure this year. It was unbelievable. But there was also a time when I was back in Phoenix for eight days at the end of May and nothing was happening out on the plains. And I'm like, I can't even believe this. Like my wife was thrilled. I was home for like eight straight days. And every day I'm like, I don't need to go out. The the dew points suck, the she, the 500 suck. And I don't need to, I don't even need to worry about missing a freaking epic supercell today. And I didn't, and it was just, I, it's unreal. It was such a weird spring for sure. But I, I enjoyed it when I was out there. <laughs> so so Mike, and, Mike and Hank, for Daniel and I, uh, and, and for Phil, I, I guess as well, um, we couldn't be out in the plains during, during May. Um, and w a lot of people didn't go. What was the chaser convergence situation? Like what was the action? Mm. Was it, was this basically 2001 <laughs> again or something like that? No, it was 1990 again. <laughs> right, right. So that yeah, was, I, must've been awesome. I yes. felt really bad. I felt really bad about it because first off, I love all my, I mean, I'm friends with a lot of photographers that don't live in this country, Brad Hannon and Marco and um, ugh, the guy from Germany, um, Dennis also like all these guys and they weren't here and you weren't here, Greg and Daniel wasn't here. And I miss seeing everybody. And even if I saw everybody, it's not like we could go to freaking Applebee's and have a big party like we always did and, and enjoy that. So 
Um, but it was on the other side, the silver lining was the roads were fantastic and there were not chasers all over the place. And it there was, was nobody really, on the really, road. no, it was really, really, really nice. And I felt bad about it at the same time. I enjoyed it immensely. Yeah. I can, I can see you're having a hard time wiping <laughs> yeah. the smile off your face. You, you know, I could <laughs> on that one good because if you got a campo to yourself, you'd be saying to me and Hank, <laughs> yeah. look what we got for the next like oh. 30 years. It'd be rubbing. Remember 2020? We're like, don't talk to us. Don't talk to us. <laughs> so if you've well, got you know, that amazing storm to yourself, that it would have been, we and, never would have talked to you. And again. a lot of times guys, wasn't it the fact that there just, there was never a day that it was really pinpointed, mm. like there was really a spot in like Kansas, like they 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 hardly had any tornadoes this year at all, right? There was never a time that there was a spot that would have brought oh. everybody into one spot. It was there kind was of spread one, out. There was one day in Northwest Kansas that everybody <clears throat> went to, and they even put out a special like MD tornado watch for Northwest Kansas, and it ended up basically almost being a blue sky bus, and everybody was there, and it was all the parameters. If that thing went up a tornado would have dropped and there were a lot of were there any high river. risks this year guys any high risks at all no i don't think so there might have been so. some in mississippi in march and uh, april i don't know if they were actually high risks i think they were moderate I'd have moderate to yeah then. yeah like i mean it really was a, a an uneventful if there's such a thing an uneventful storm season i mean it just yeah. there wasn't much going on so Greg, Greg, talk about Canada though. You you guys have yeah. Been, I mean, uh, uh, for like Mike said it. Uh, I think in the pre-show we were talking that you know we felt bad about not being able to go down south. Yeah. And then uh, you know June and July hit up here, and uh, it seems like every storm that every supercell that went up has produced a tornado. It's just been it's been an amazing year up here. Um, you know, uh, unfortunately, I don't know if you guys heard in the in the news, but we had uh, two uh, two youngsters that were killed by a tornado mm -hmm. a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. uh, EF three for for the Canadian Plains doesn't happen very often, so that was a pretty significant tornado event, and it was probably one of the most photo. You know what it reminded me of, uh, Hank? Is was uh, it reminded me of the picture right behind you when we were at Dodge City, the same mm -hmm. lighting and the the same shape to the the at least the first uh, the primary tornado. Aren't yeah, all was, Canadian it, tornadoes? Don't all Canadian tornadoes look like that? <laughs> um, no, but yeah, they're all very Canadian polite. Nice. They usually Last stay time, very man. polite and apologize for any damage <laughs> that they do and stuff like that. It's. <laughs> Well, it's funny because a lot of the U.S. chasers going, we can't get into Canada. A lot of the Canadian chasers said, like, we can't get to America, and they're all pissed off about that. But, yeah. of course, the big show happened this year in Canada, although and Minnesota yeah. did get some nice I was actually year. joking with a friend that I thought Minnesota would just eventually move into Canada because of what's been happening this year. It might as well, <laughs> it might as well be Canada. Uh, oh, we've talked we've talked about we've talked about that trust me <laughs> <laughs> all right so gentlemen this 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 goes for all of you i i want to know what for for each of you because it's probably going to be different what's your holy grail now when you go chasing um you, you know you've seen lots of different things you've taken footage and photography of lots of different things what what's really your your holy grail right now and hank lead, lead us off hmm Four tornadoes. <laughs> in a oh. You mean in a season? Oh, you don't ask for much. At the same time. time. At the yeah. same time. Yeah, can four well, concurrent tornadoes at the same like, time. Well, with like a windmill and a lightning strike and yeah. a rainbow. and like, yeah. 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 Not asking for much, are you? Mine involves uh, an American flag, an eagle on top of it, a lightning strike, you know, all, all together in, in one shot. I'm going to okay. say a stationary mothership for eight hours where we can actually set up a barbecue. Applebee's comes to us <laughs> and everyone just lines up. We ain't, just, just make a banquet and all the chasers just sit there, look occasionally towards the storm, and we just share good memories with great friends whilst the, whilst the mothership's in the background just sitting still for eight hours. That's that's the holy grail. Um, I I have like a longer answer for this, but the short like answer is that I would I want to get something. My holy grail is to get an epic, like, monster like downburst microburst over the grand canyon at like a right around sunset with lightning strikes all around it which will probably never happen but i've seen photos of one that did and i just can't stop thinking about it and that's that would be really really great someday but that's pretty just tough move to move to the grand canyon and i'm sure you'll you'll find it yeah you're not too you're not too far uh, how about how about this 
Oh, how about that? For Daniel, it's a mothership. It's a mothership. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, you're right. Jennifer's oh, right. Jennifer. It's a mother. It is yeah. actually. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. I said a mothership with with friends, but a mothership over <laughs> Devil's Tower, where Steven Spielberg goes, nice CGI, Dan, oh, yeah. and it's actually real, and no one else is on it. That that's the Holy Grail. Is a mothership over Devil's Tower. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I'd so Greg, like that. Greg, oh. what's your Holy Grail? uh i'm kind of with mike on this i don't think it's a it's a i don't think it's a tornado situation i think it's more of a a lightning uh i I, i've always loved the look of lightning when you're you're from elevation you know so it's like lightning down into a valley where you actually get that three-dimensional type look as opposed to lightning on the horizon in front of you uh, the other, uh, the other one, Holy Grail wise, and uh, shockingly, I can't believe that I haven't experienced this is a real close range lightning strike. Hmm. You know, it's like, funny how <laughs> this, this, this is why I carry an AED in the car, Greg elevation, <laughs> lightning, close lightning strike. Yeah. 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 I, I look forward to seeing you next year or the year after, but I, <laughs> your time is limited. I, I, I'm, in the, like... I'm in the car on the close lightning strike. Okay? Uh, I'm in the car. Uh, I need a Daniel. I need a Daniel around this year. Cause I was on this dry <laughs> lake bed by Wilcox here in Arizona and a storm goes up right next to me and I start shooting it and a lightning bolt must've hit behind me 50 feet. And I realized after that, I'm like, I am on a giant flat lake and I am the tallest thing for miles. And what am I mm-hmm. doing? So I jumped in the car and hit. I was not, I was, but I got a really couple of really good lightning strikes. So it was worth yeah. it. I guess. Some first aid advice for you, doing CPR on yourself doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Just saying, Brett, Brett's around. Good advice. Got, got a little bit of a, little bit of a chance there because Brett's good. You know, okay, I, I got Hank, that. Hank, that was your cue, though, to talk uh, about green ghosts. You've got some green ghost fascination right yeah. now. What, what's I that s- fetish? I saw, I, I saw a ghost, man. I can't believe it. But uh, now, to, to end uh, all seriousness aside, we uh, discovered a new transient luminous event. So, as you know, transient, Those are transient big words. luminous yeah. events, you know, sprites, jets, elves, halos. And uh, I was out documenting sprites one evening, a, a vibrant sprite storm, and I noticed this green afterglow after the sprite. And I thought, it looks just like a little aurora. And, I, and I'm thinking, man, this is, nobody's seen this. And so I kind of threw out some feelers, like, has anybody ever heard of this? And they're like, ah, oh, you're crazy. It's your, san- it's your camera sensor. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know I got something. And so, yeah, after a year of trying to ferret it out to uh, scientists and stuff like that it's official man it's a new discovery so basically the sprite yeah it, it, the excited oxygen turns green and you've got this little about a almost a second of green aurora type if you will after a sprite and so we named them ghosts me and paul smith uh he's a guy that i'm collaborating with uh, an amazing photographer and we named them ghosts to keep in theme of Pixies, sprites, elves, and all that. And then also it's an acronym for his hypothesis, should it turn out to be accurate, for green oxygen, um, green uh, emissions of excited oxygen and sprite tops. I think it deserves a round of applause. I mean, if you still yeah, yeah. can, yeah, I just... <laughs> yeah, cheers. I want to see a ghost. A ghost would be awesome. Yeah, the ghosts are real. Uh, Hank, I got to ask you about Medill. Oh, okay. Like that video, um, I've, I've obviously, like all of us, we've we've probably watched every tornado video that's ever been posted as a group. But uh, Medill might be one of my all-time favorites. Not that the tornado was all that spectacular, but yeah. your positioning and watching that building come apart. What on? That was awesome. And and I'm. To just tell us about that event and about what went what went, what went down, man. What was that all about? Well, thank you. Yeah, it was really nice uh, as as uh, to be there to capture it. Of course, it's terrible that the people that died, of course, but it was a weak tornado, and it was really, well yeah. lit. It was well lit. It, you know, it was an EF two. Uh, it was well lit. It was a really tiny, tight mesocyclone, so you could get. You know, it wasn't this big, it wasn't like getting close to a wedge. It was just this little, you know, tiny funnel. So you could get really close. You could see where the 
large debris was falling and where, you know, and, and so you got right up on it and the cameras were rolling. So that's kind of an ideal thing to shoot up close is, is a weak tornado, relatively weak, small, tight tornado. So that moment when our, our education series, if you see lightning and you're up high, shoot it. If you see a weak tornado, get close. Listen carefully, people. I forget. This I forget. Education. I forget we're speaking to the public here. I see. Yeah, it's right. Exactly. Like, it's not just Phil, Storm like, going, get oh, yeah. close, get close. Right. Hi, hi. It's like, well, hey, right. there's other people we listening. Said, we said it's R-rated. The kids went to bed. We should be okay. You need, <laughs> Phil, you need a disclaimer, warning, <laughs> advice. This does not constitute official advice. Caution must be used. Continue on, Daniel, Phil. we have no Great. fucking idea what a disclaimer is. But, <laughs> uh, but, but uh, guys, I just got to – Phil, sorry, before you go uh, to break here, I want to just say – uh, if anyone hasn't and isn't familiar with what I'm talking about, go to Hank's YouTube page and uh, check out. And I think it's one of the top uh, top hits right now on your page. But it's uh, uh, Medill, Oklahoma, and that was in April, right? April, yeah. April. Was- and and so anyway, if you check it out, you will be absolutely blown away. I, by it. I just want to add, like when he posted that and I shared it, I was like, I shared it on Twitter. And I said, this is why Pecos is the best. Oh, and that, yeah. and yeah. I'm not just buttering you up. I'm just serious. Like you posted this calm video, perfect footage, <laughs> yeah. and you turned it the road and followed it. Multi angle. And, and just, I'm like, yeah. and you were in the right spot, and and it was just like, and that's what I admire, and it's just amazing. So anyway, that was that was fantastic. It, it, it almost made it seem like it's just like a little dust devil because you're <laughs> so calm and you're just yeah. like kind of following it and smooth storytelling and to yeah. anybody else is like holy fuck what is that? <laughs> I, I think hank could have gone one better if he had his guitar with him at the time <laughs> and did, 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 or i said audio is everything and doing the music and the narration as it's happening that's next level hank that's what we yeah. want for you yeah, yeah. Live the, thing narration. That, the thing that hurts is that that really stings about that event is I had the guitar in the back seat and completely forgot <laughs> to pull it out and play it. Yeah. Very good. All right. So on that note, I think we're going to take a quick break so everybody can get a refill, uh, but we're going to go ahead. We'll be right back. So stay tuned to the Stormfront Freaks podcast. All right, guys, I actually am going to go get a drink, but uh, when we come back, <laughs> we'll just kind of go through some more questions and then hit the lightning round. Okay. Everybody By the way, this, so far? This, yeah, this is what I'm drinking because I'm on like two hours of sleep, two hour, two and a half hours nice. of sleep. These are actually really good. By the well, way, Mike, yeah, what's your one. um, what's your radar looking like right now? Honestly, I it's on my phone, and I'm talking to ah. you guys. But I am um, I'll, I'll have I'm watching the towers. I know they're in front of me, and they're coming towards me. And so every now that I look and go, oh, that one looks good. Um, I'm trying to wait because I really, really like that hour before sunset and trying so hard to be in the right place for the where are you are you near tucson or are you yeah down, i'm uh, on the north side of tucson and i'm hoping there are um, i kid you not there's two severe warnings at the moment to south of you and one to um that yeah, you got a couple right. of well i'm the, the the stuff that i need is coming from the east there's stuff to the south that i think will go into uh, mexico there's a line of storms heading from east from um sort of Stafford all the way down to um, Benson, St. Yeah. David area. Yeah, lined up. that's what I'm looking at. And they're going to be, mm. they should be good. And it's going to propagate to the northwest probably tonight. And uh, um, okay. hopefully, anyway, hopefully it's good. It's been busy. Yeah, they're, they're, been they're, they're actually coming, to, they're coming towards you. Coming I towards know. Uh, I know. South, yeah. That's, hey, okay, what's, the, uh, what's the COVID sitch in Houston now? Any better? Oh, we are leading the world right now. We are Texas, Houston, Harris County is number one. Really? I haven't yeah, right on. Congratulations, yeah. man. Thank Way to be you, number thank one. You, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to put my mask on then. Since, my uh, county, since yeah. <laughs> my my right. county that's... has like 96,000 cases in my county. And that's why, yeah. And I think Arizona's it... not far behind. 96,000 we in report... the county? In my county. Jesus. Yeah. It's crazy. We, no, we've I mean, got I mean, like, like nine, like, yeah. cases being investigated and a few thousand of <laughs> control it, they're doing it a little bit hard down in victoria and what's amazing is they're actually locking off the border states i can't make it to queensland queensland can't, mm. they're, they're shutting down borders ah, they've had yeah. they have shut down borders in australia so it's um mm. they're taking it quite seriously here what's that like 
<laughs> serious in Australia. <laughs> Hank's a bit here. It's like, oh, it yeah, it'll be right. Yeah. Uh, no, they're taking it seriously, but it's, we're pretty chill in, in Australia. So, like... Uh, yeah. we're, Mike, we're, it we're feels like that was a bit of a political statement. I know, I didn't know. No, no. I'm not aware of what it was. I, I just didn't buy it. I'll, I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll deal with Mike in 2021. 20, so I'm just looking at towers here. I'm just looking at towers. <laughs> here's uh, are they? Here's a suggestion for a, a disclaimer, but I bet it's not quite what we want. Don't do this at home. Do it in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> that's them. smart that's, that's exactly what i do yeah where they'll find the body in right in nine, nine weeks <laughs> all right so here's what we'll do uh we'll come back in i'll start with another question this is going to be for everybody uh and then we'll just kind of keep keep the questions going and i would say maybe seven now oh, this is my my time so maybe 45 50 minutes uh to, into it we'll um we'll hit the lightning round so I'm, I'm going to kind of introduce Greg for the lightning round. He's going to run the lightning round, which is our game show. And then we'll take another break, quick break after the game show. That'll probably put us, it depends on how much you guys talk, but probably put us about top of the hour. And then at that point, like, Mike, if you got to go, I get it. Go, right? I mean, you're, you're with a bunch of storm people, so we understand. If you got to go, you got to go. Um, but we'll take a break roughly around the top of the hour and then just come back with uh, Weather Trollbot. And then close out, kind of. I close need to be around out. for weather troll bot. All right, all right. So <laughs> if you miss well, a, like a really <laughs> a holy crowd moment today, just for us, Mike, we thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys ready? Let's yes. do it. All right, coming back. Three, two. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are with uh, our Titan table of storm chasers. We got Daniel Shaw, Hank Shima, Michael Binsky, and our own. Greg Johnson and, and gentlemen, I, I want you to respond to this question. You ready? Mm -hmm. May we use your video across <laughs> all platforms with full credit to you? Go. Go fuck yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, just let me know where I can send the invoice. Oh, only, <laughs> only if you don't want to pay me. That only if only if you want it for free. <laughs> What oh so so, yeah. so <laughs> all right so anybody want to go time. into it any further or just okay fine yeah, that was the cue you, you could have just said dan you're the media you guy Dan. i guess we'll yeah, sit well. back and let dan okay talk I, i'm gonna now. say this clearly to, clear to everyone whilst a lot of storm content isn't worth a lot we've seen some storm content remember there was a, a lightning strike i filmed 10 years i tried to get the shot quarters plane going past whilst they were still flying in the sky lightning strike comes in behind it 10 years it took me to get that shot that made me spent sixteen thousand dollars or just over sixteen thousand dollars thus far um tweeted protected knowing what your content worth globally people just say yeah sure share it and do what you like with it and people actually sell it make a profit from it um there's organizations set up there just to make profit and they ask for for free uh, i'm okay with people giving away their work as long as they know what they're getting into as long as they're informed but uh, understand that some weather content is worth an absolute fortune when licensed globally. Yeah, but how many likes did you get? <laughs> <laughs> I got <laughs> I got paid and made it to America every year. You know, it's expensive. You do a three stop a three, nearly three month storm chasing trip every year. You got to pay for that trip. You got to pay for a car. So I would just I one of the one of the first conversations I ever had with Daniel was one night we were driving at the same time out to the plains and we met in Albuquerque at Apple, Applebee's for like a beer That's right. at like 11 o'clock at night. And we talked about, and he talked about my dust storm uh, video, my Haboob um, from 2011 oh. and how I probably missed out on a good 60 to $80,000 um, initially from just having done it correctly and let it be licensed all over. Cause I was just starting out. I still, you know, tried to make money from stations and, and a couple stations paid me and I licensed it and I've licensed it for years. So I've made money off it. That's not the point. But the point was, is at the time when you get some footage like that, like Pecos gets Medill, you know what that footage is going to be worth and you don't just give it away for free. You need to figure, okay, now I know what I need to do now. And so I wish I knew then, but that's what really, um, talking to Daniel that, I mean, that was like, I don't know, six years ago, seven years ago, just kind of you know, made me realize again, you know, what you need to do with that. And, and it's really hard when everybody else gives it away because it hurts us. So in the storm chasing community, if you're part of it and you're here and you chase and someone asks you for, a, um, if we can use your footage for free, please don't do that. 
just, I mean, it sucks because I know some people want to get on like TV and they never have, and this might be their one chance. So that's, you know, I understand that. So hmm. I'm kind but of we're, torn but up Remember, we're like, changing that. Again, we'll probably touch on that if you've if you're cool with that film about what we're doing with global storm chasers, global weather net. Should I touch on that quickly? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you this might is, answer this question here. This is um oh, here we are. As an amateur photographer, can I license content and where can I license it? That's a good question. I'll get to that. It comes down to content. Comes down to is it exclusive content? Um, just because we've got a nice lightning shot um, or a nice a boob shot or a nice um, mothership or, or tornado, it could have been filmed by 20,000 other people with a mobile phone. It comes down to how exclusive is it. So things like a close lightning strike where something like a tree blows up. So that stuff goes around the world. It's seen by half a billion and billion people. When you look about how well spread that is, it's, the reach is incredible. But what we're doing with um, a group called Global Storm Chasers is a very small group for a purpose, the content creator has to be real, which means um, the photographer, videographer needs to produce their own work. They need to share their work to the group. It has to be within 48 hours. And what we encourage is for them to build their own page. So what we find what's happening is someone gets something epic and they just post it everywhere, share it everywhere, give it to media, just to try and make a name for themselves. And what we're trying to do is educate people Make your own page, make your own Twitter account, make your own identity, protect your work, and then share it to this group from that page. And if it's really good, like what Hank did recently with his Medill um, Tornado, put it on YouTube, monetize, it's up to 12 million views on that. So if you've got something epic and you protect your brand and the storm chasers around the world, we're connecting them all together and all the weather pages together. Imagine what happens if we can connect every storm chaser, every weather page globally one person who's an unknown, like an amateur photographer, gets the holy grail moment, shares it to global storm chasers, and then the rest of the world shares it. The reach is between 30 to 50 million people um, in about 8 to 12 hours, if it was to happen. We've done that a couple of times with a reach on a, on a page with zero likes, hit 2.7 million reach in 18 hours with a zero like page we helped make for the person. People said it's not possible. That's small. We've just started this. So it's about connecting people who are passionate about content and being supported. Whilst we're envious of the content ourselves, if we can get this to be shared across multiple languages, multiple regions globally, you've got 8 billion people on the planet. Why can't you reach half a billion people from their chosen social media? It should be their choice how they share their content. And if someone wants to copy it and get their attention for themselves, let's stop that. Let's protect the amateurs, the professionals, and connect the whole lot together. It's a big ask because we're dealing with multiple languages and regions, but it's a lot to take on. Mike's helping with that, and Marka Korosek, and some great people behind that project. So, so let me Did ask I hear you guys. So, if I am new, eighty thousand. Sixty. Hmm? Did I hear sixty to eighty thousand? What million? Mike, did you say sixty to eighty thousand dollars? Well, that's what Daniel told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that one. Well, think about it, Mike. Your dust film you gave to every, you gave to everyone. You probably gave it out to a TV station was connected to AP and Reuters. That went out to four thousand TV networks globally. So think about how, how many media ran that globally. Twelve, fourteen hundred media. Get a calculator. Say twenty <laughs> bucks a video times fourteen hundred media globally. That's twenty eight thousand dollars if they paid twenty dollars each. So I'll make probably, you a deal. It was probably upwards of one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars. If you make me sixty thousand dollars off of one of my videos, <laughs> I'll give you fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> sure, uh, <laughs> send me the deal one. But I hope I was saying that I didn't make that. Yeah, that's what he said. I could have made if I would have done it right. But he well, probably remember, exaggerating a little. But bit. but it was also comes down to is media going to buy it? Not all media, like a, a media company in Greece is not going to buy it. They're going to want to get it on their free feed. So, yeah. but what we're trying to do is change that. So the storm chasers and the true content producers globally know what their value is worth. Yeah. And they say no to these people and say, hey, we want to license it. And we're working with partners and all competitors. We do licensing globally in Australia through Severe Weather Australia, Global Weather Net, but we're also recommending Doug, Brett, Corey Hartman, LS, so LSM, um, Storm Chasing Video. I'm supporting all these companies, even though they're competition to me, they're friends as well. So what we're trying to do is help our American friends work with the American distributors to connect everyone together. It should be the content creator's choice what they do with their work. If they want to give it away, that's okay. Just be be educated what what happens to it and build your own social media channels. 
it's, so it what, is a complicated process. So what Daniel's trying to say, folks, in English, I can interpret this for you, <laughs> is oh. that if you don't give your footage away, you actually make a little bit of money. Maybe. Right. Maybe. If not, you'll become famous on your own social media and your likes will go from zero to Phil, did you have any idea what you were getting into when you asked this question? <laughs> uh, I, I kind of did, but I, I will share this with, with all of you guys uh, because we're getting a lot of feedback from our, our viewers. Is what If I'm brand new to chasing, uh, and, and typically a lot of times these are the people that are, hey, I got this you know, great shot. And then all of a sudden all this media is coming at them, right? Cause they just posted it on Twitter or Facebook and they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, go ahead and use it. Yeah. They're the ones that are wondering how, how do I even get started? Where do I start this so that I'm not giving, giving it away and maybe making some money? Where do I start? Let me go real quick before Daniel hops in. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, first okay. off, first off, every all the the news stations know that they can steal it from you, so they're they're going to test the waters. And so, if you say no, you but you cannot use it. You don't have my permission, but I'd be happy to license it to you for a reasonable fee. Half of them will say okay, and they will license it from you. Go ahead, Daniel. <laughs> no, you, you've you've answered my question. That's thanks, it. It's, thanks. It's very, thanks, Hank. I think thanks, people. Hank. I think people don't understand. I think when they hear the term, how do I license it? I don't even know how to do that. Like, it's not really like a complicated right. thing. It just means yeah. they're paying you for it, just like anyone yeah. would pay for anything. So I think it sounds complicated, people, and like scary. Right. Like I don't even know how to do that. But it's real well, simple. Just this is where it is complicated. It. Okay, say you're a TV station in Albuquerque, or say Phoenix, Arizona. You get a nice dust storm video. And they're connected to, say, CBS. And they say, hey, Mike, we'd love to use right. this on our network. Can we use it across this? And, and our affiliates. Yeah. Now, CBS is, is obviously that station. It's a local station. If CBS requested from that station and you gave it to them, say, for $100 just because it's a local station, they could feed it back to CBS when CBS is connected yeah. to CBS News Path and CBS News Path is then connected to about, I, I don't know what the numbers are, anywhere between 800 to 1,400 networks globally. So that $100 sale just went to 1,400 yeah. networks globally. Yeah. So the trick yeah. is what you say, you are licensed for $100 or $200 just for your network with no affiliates and you ask for on-screen name credit. If they say no, they go, but we want to share it. Well, I have a Facebook account. You have a Facebook account. Hit share to page. Mm -hmm. Free. <laughs> yeah. Not hard, that. Make, but make your own page. Make your own identity, especially starting out. Yeah. It's okay to say no. They want to share it. They can just hit the share button. It's called re they want to republish. That's different to sharing. And I will say there's a little bit of difference. I don't know if it's different out here, but local networks are a little different. They don't usually have money for stuff like that. And I'm friends with a couple of stations in Phoenix that are like, I'm good friends with the meteorologist there. We have a relationship. If I get anything, they know, yeah, they can use it if they ask. And they know it's not going up anywhere. Like it's only for you to use tonight on the broadcast because I love you guys and we work together in a mutual relationship. But you definitely, that's a good point is you have to say no. It's only for you. And um, no affiliates. It's not allowed to go to the network or anything like that to keep control of it. And even ask them if they can. Maybe a local station will pay you fifty bucks, a hundred bucks. But most of the time, they don't have money. But you, you want to control it and limit where it can go, and that's a big thing. Hey, Hank, I got a question for you on the same lines. Uh, your channel on YouTube is, you know, I'd say in maybe. Does anybody have more views than you on on? tornado videos uh maybe not you might be the, at the top of the pile uh how much of your uh and i, I don't want to get into like uh tax return you know questions and stuff but <laughs> like how much like are you making any money off of youtube like does yeah. it interact yeah of course i yeah. certainly hope so <clears throat> yeah I, I'll, I'll shoot you guys straight like uh it used to, in the good old days you were making prior to the ad apocalypse thing where tornado video got you know, uh, in the same barrel with, uh, with people getting their ears chopped off. Now it's and not advertiser friendly anymore. Nice. Prior to that for about a million views, you'd get about a thousand bucks. Is that is about, about what I do now. Now it's, it's kind of dwindled down for the same video for like a, uh, like a beach video or animals, animals get five, five times as much. So yeah, if you risk your life, 
And if you, <laughs> you know, you might or make, top your ear off, you might make a thousand dollars in a season of drive, and you got to drive around, right. you know, all yeah. so so that explains all the stops during your chase when you see an animal on the road. To do no, to, no, okay, I was doing no, that. I, right. No, I'm out of control. I just got a home now. I have a yard now, and in Houston we have this lizard invasion. We have these these uh, lizards that have arrived from Florida, and they're just everywhere. And I've, I'm I can't mow the lawn because they're, I'm afraid I'm going to run over the lizard. <laughs> Invasive yeah. species yeah. Yeah. coming up on the Storm Farm Freaks. Hank says he's out of control. Yeah. <laughs> double O C. We call that double O C, baby. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that, pretty good with all the yeah. It's just yeah I mean, half the fun I'm going to Arizona tomorrow, and half the fun is, I mean, there's so many wild animals, especially reptiles and all the creepy stuff in Arizona. I can't wait to get out there and, and just observe all these animals in their natural habitat. I love how you save the turtles, and eventually one of those snakes is going to get like, check out this snake, because we used to have this guy called Steve, Australian resident called Steve when he passed away, God rest his soul. Um, and, and he used to like used to pick up the animals and piss them off. Hank's very sweet with his animals. He picks up the turtles, and but one day he's going to go screw you, bugger off, and come get you. He'll, he'll still kiss it. He'll still kiss. He'll it. still It'll kiss be it. Good. Yeah. So so hey, qu again, question for all of you. So uh, we're talking about everybody's got a phone, everybody's got personal uh, social media outlets, all that kind of stuff. So there is now so much crap out there right and 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 the good stuff can get lost in the mess of everything what, what's what is the future as you guys see it of of storm chasing like how can you utilize what you're now doing in this day and age to still get the eyeballs and to still get maybe the money or to, or to whatever what what's the where's the future going right now because there's a lot global um connecting everyone on a much bigger plane which is what we're doing with global storm chasers global weather net having those groups available to us where we can help protect as a content protection group things where we can spot copyright theft all the storm chasers globally are spotting up re-uploads of hank's video i don't know how many millions i think hank lost at least probably four to eight thousand dollars in revenues from stolen content alone we found month. that, and Hank's been helping with the copyright com com uh, claims, which then drives traffic back to him. So that's one one aspect. So Storm Chase is coming together that. And then also connecting each other. So having just not just the semi-pros, but the professionals published on their own social media and then sharing that work. The whole trick is get good content and have a network of people who can support it. If you do that right, then you've reached critical mass globally in hours. So connecting everyone together was the missing key because it's we all know each other. It might hit a certain region, but you've got a global market. The problem is prior, the global market would end up just stolen content from God knows where. We're shutting down those avenues and then sharing and supporting the true creator. And that's, about, what, that's what we're uh, trying to shift to. How about uh, cooperative? Make, make, a, make a storm chaser co-op and we all put our video into the same spot and uh, then divvy it up. What do you think of that, Phil? <laughs> uh, I think we had the plug for that already earlier, That's didn't cool. we? Let's don't find freaks. <laughs> what Daniel did for the the storm chasers is incredible like like you know a couple years ago it was out of control you know everybody would take your video they'd take a piece of greg's video they'd take a piece of mike's video daniel's skips and reads and they'd make these compilations you know the 10 deadliest tornadoes in the world and, and they were just throwing these videos out one after another and daniel man i swear he took them all down by organizing us all together yeah. and we've now got this this group effort where we just harass the hell out of these people that are taking our stuff. And, 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 you know, that's what is able to keep us afloat and it's working, man. Now we've taken those guys down a lot of yeah. them. Pop up. Yeah, we've, not, not all of them. There's, a, there's still a few out there who take pleasure and actually one actually even launched a Patreon. I'm not going to say that person's name. He's still out there. Who's got, uh, did a counterclaim against Hank and it just, uh, just timing didn't quite work out where he stopped. This person has stopped producing tornado videos and it's backed away a bit, but it comes down to how well can we protect the original content? How quickly can we share it via the global network? If and you've got some yeah. video, if you've got some video, 
make sure you get in touch with Daniel. He'll walk you through everything. It's really simple. And he oh, might even make right. you a little bit of money, guys. Yeah, add to my workload. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's about no, it's about everyone working for themselves and knowing the best way to do it. Again, if it's your content, it's your decision. But understanding what to do is key. It's okay to start from zero likes. Hank started from zero likes. I don't know. I think he started from 5,000 in my opinion. But, but I started at zero. To produce content is expensive, hard, and it's going to take a lot of time. Yeah. Well, in this case, I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars sometimes to produce what we produce. And to piggyback off that a little bit, the time it takes, I, I think I heard Phil's question just a little bit differently. But just for me personally, trying to do what I do every year, um, I just love chasing and I love time lapse and I love photography. And it's thinking about like, well, what can I do next? Because everybody else is starting to do it is really like a draining question because I don't want to think about what do I got to do to beat everybody? I just want to keep doing it. But for me personally, I try to compete with myself. So I'm trying to do the best I can to be better than I've been in the past. And so that's um, that's my way of trying to stay I think ahead or to try to be, you know, as good as I can be. But at the same time, it's very frustrating because I can see supercells now that I used to think were gorgeous and be like, yeah, but you know, I've seen that <laughs> before. This, I've seen yeah. that there's something wrong with that one or there's something. And, um, but, and, and it's exhausting. I've been, you know, this is about eighth day in a row of me chasing out here in Arizona with, Mo like three or four of those nights not getting to bed before 3 a.m. And, and I have got three kids that are doing video school right now. And so I'm up at 6.30 when they get up. And so I barely get any sleep. And I'm working as hard as I can to be, to get the content that I need to, to kind of stay up, to stay up on top of, and I say on top, but I mean more against myself. I want to do better than I've done. And so and so you have to kind of put that kind of effort in to do it and it's draining and it's exhausting, but it's, it's, you know, fulfilling when it works out. But that's, uh, that's, that's my constant struggle. I know, I know the answers to this, but Hank and Mike, how long does it take you to produce one video in both chasing and editing? Hank? You no, know, it's getting longer and longer. I'm, I'm on, I'm going on to month. I'll be entering month two here on the next video. For one but, video. Hank, Mike? I, um, you know, what I'm trying to do lately is I've, because I want to top myself, I've been skipping putting out videos for like a year. So I have two years worth of footage. So this summer, at the end of the summer, I'll put out a monsoon film and it has all the stuff from last year that I shot, which took three months to film and then another, you know, month or so to edit. And I don't even know if I finished because I probably stopped. And then here it is another three months of chasing um, all summer. And it's probably going to take me a month, month and a half. I've gotten my workflow down with the time lapse stuff that I can, I can do it faster than I used to. And I have another computer that will sit there and just, just spew out time lapses in the background for days at a time while I drag it into like a video or into Premiere Pro and work on it. But um, so for the next film, I would say it's going to be about eight months of work with about six months of chasing, you know, tens of thousands of miles and exhaustion and, you know, damaged vehicles and expenses and stuff. So it's, um, it's exhausting. So hey, I'm Mike and Hank, right now. We, we would like to share your video with our viewers with credit yeah. to you. Yeah. Well, hey, gentlemen, that, that is the sound. It is time for our lightning round. This is our game show of flashy and brilliant questions. We always play with our guests. We invite everybody to play along with us. Uh, and tonight, Greg is going to take you to F you. <laughs> He's taken to you to Fujita University. All and right. here's our host, Greg Johnson. Well, thank you, Phil. Thank you. Uh, welcome to FU. <laughs> Tonight, given the global nature of our discussion, Daniel's been Daniel threw around the word global many times, and we've you know we've got uh, Canada represented. We've got australia and the united states and we've got people tuning in from all over the world so tonight at fu we are going to talk about language we're gonna we're gonna get into a discussion on language and we're gonna ask you some questions uh here's the way the lightning round is gonna work 
you guys are in a competition here, Hank, oh, yeah. Mike, and Daniel. <laughs> I've already lost to Daniel. I know that. My last competition. Um, <laughs> I am going to uh, say a word, uh, and the word is tornado, but I'm going to say it in a different language, and you need to be able to identify the language. If nobody can get it, I will turn it into a multiple choice for you, okay? Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. <laughs> So, uh, and, and I'll let you know that uh, it, uh, there's an uncanny number of languages that use the word tornado in their own language. So, so because of that, some of these are going to be the word cyclone. So we've translated uh, either tornado or cyclone. I'm going to give you the word in the other language and you need to tell me the language. Okay. So, Phil, are we ready? Uh, I, I think we're ready. I, I think you ought to give the multiple choice right off the bat. Or uh, I think the first. I think no, no, the no, first. No, no. Come on. I think come I think on. the first okay. couple. Right, the first few. They don't need the multiple choice. I don't fair know. enough. Fair okay. enough. Go okay. ahead. You're you're the host. Uh, okay. So here's the first one. Tatsumaki. Japanese. Sounds Japanese. Uh, I heard Mike first. I heard oh, Mike Oblinsky oh, first. Yeah, I got I got Mike on that one. That's right. It's Japanese Tatsumaki. Okay, here's number two. Turbo. Turbo. Portuguese. Portuguese. I was gonna say that. Too. Ooh. Damn. Mike. Um. I have no idea. Okay, here's your multiple choice on this. The word turbo. Is it Greek, Korean, or Latin? Greek. Dang it. Latin. Hank or Daniel? Latin. Hank got it. Very good. All right, next one. Wow. No multiple choice on this one. Tornad. Tornad. Portuguese. Italian. Mike. That buzz are really <laughs> scary. I don't know. That's that. French, guys. That's oh. French. Well, you said it with a Portuguese oh, accent. Yeah. I don't say even speak with, Portuguese. Say it with a Canadian French accent. Yeah. Say hey, it with my, a French my accent. French, I remember, Brad Russo will remember this. I walked in, I was in northern Quebec, and I asked for iced ice. I went, bonjour, monsieur, uh, glacier ice, because the word donut had glacier. Uh, I, I tried to do the whole French thing, and I, 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 asked for, I asked for ice ice. I asked for ice ice. <laughs> yeah, sorry, continue on. Many, many of our many of our viewers guessed Latin on that one. Just oh, like really? okay. sorry, continue on, Greg. Okay. Uh the next one, I'm gonna I am going to butcher this, I know for sure. <laughs> so good luck. Anamostrovolius. Anamostrovolius. Nope. Anamostrovilos. Oh. Greek. Correct. Daniel got it. I think if you pronounced yes. it right the first time. Yeah, I know. I, I blew that, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. That was good. All right. Next one here, guys. This one uh, This one you might need. You know what? I'm going to give you the multiple choice on this one. Cyclone. And it's spelled C-Y-C-L-O-O-N. Cyclone. Is that Turkish, Dutch, or German? Dutch. Correct. Ugh. Very this good. Global group. Hey, it's, it's MJ, really do we have M MJ? Do we have a score yet? What I, are you keeping score? I, I believe we I have uh, Mike with one, Hank with one, and Daniel with two. Uh oh, very good, yeah, very good. Okay, okay. all right. Sure. The next one, uh, the next one coming up is Bavandar. B A V A N D A R. Bavandar. Swedish. Incorrect. <laughs> Damn, okay. Okay, here's your multiple choice on Bavandar. Is it Punjabi, Indonesian, or Hindi? Oh, that's wild. Indonesian. I'm going to say Hindi. Who said I Hindi? Hank ah. got, I thought Hank would have got that. Hank got oh, he that. He did that's get right. it. It's Hindi, yeah. It was between yep. those two for me. <laughs> okay, this one I am really going to butcher. Um, I'm going to spell it first it's not and that then hard. Uh, I'm going to spell it first and then I will, I will try to say it. It's T S I K L O N cyclon. It's a cyclon cyclon. T S I K T S I K L O N cyclon. Hmm. 
Okay, multiple choice. Okay, multiple. <laughs> okay, multiple Thank choice. You. Is that Portuguese, Filipino, or Russian? Russian. Russian. Dang it. Way to go, Ooh, Hank. I knew it was Russian. Ooh. I knew with the T. I was thinking Tsar. The pressure's Hank? on because it's like two. It's two. Uh, hang on. Is, is Hank winning now? Was that Hank? Yeah, yes. that was Hank. Yeah. That was Hank. That was Hank. Yeah, he takes the lead now. All right. Okay. Uh, Zyklon. Z-Y-K-L-O-N. Zyklon. Is that, is that German? <sighs> is it German, Indonesian, or Portuguese? German. Zyklon. Portuguese. German. 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 I said German. I said uh, German yeah, first. Dan you can Daniel play it back. Say, Daniel said German. I, I said do, them all before I think I, said. <laughs> no, no, I, I think I heard video, Daniel. Video ref, I realize video you're, ref. Not gonna, you're not going to take away from us with for the for the wrong answers. So I'm just after after the I'm going <laughs> to recite it right after. And I did. Hank, I said it before Daniel. Right thought it's it's against it's me. I felt sorry for oh, MJ. What their score, the MJ? We That's score good. Mike That's one, good. Hank three, Daniel three. Okay, so they're tied oh, the, three three. The, the yes. What do you we're, think? Let, Phil? Let's do we're gonna do three more. Three more. Three more? Okay. Yep. Oh, there, has, there has to be a clear winner. We can't leave us on the tiebreaker. <laughs> okay, this one is uh, I'm gonna give you the multiple choice, so don't answer until you get the multiple choice on this one, Hank. Uh <laughs> I don't know why you did that. Tupana. Tupana. T U P H A with the little thing over it. A N A. <laughs> Tupana. Filipino. Filipino. Is this Hawaiian. Punjabi, Turkish, or Portuguese? Turkish. What was Portuguese. the first one? I missed the, I missed the first one? Portuguese. Uh, is it Punjabi? Punjabi. Punjabi. <laughs> I said Punjabi first. No, you didn't. Yes, I Phil, did. Yes, I did. Phil, this is yes, getting out of hand. <laughs> hey, I've tried to do the sound well, did, effect. Did you got to ask for some this? other judge. Phil and MJ, gonna like, give, what do we do? do? I'm going to back out and let those two duke it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hank, don't give up. You're the best time lapse on the planet. No, I'm be, be one no, with the team. Be one with the team. That's real nice you called me Hank. We had a bet earlier how quickly it would go downhill. It took 46 <laughs> minutes and 18 seconds. It. All right, here, here's the next one. Uh, and I'm actually going to give you the I'm multiple mean, choice ahead of I'm time mean. on this one. Two I more. Think two more. Ooh. We're okay, going to yep, give you the okay. multiple choice ahead of time. You, you have you have Korean, Swahili, or Esperanto. Korean, Swahili, or Esperanto. Pogpung. Pogpung. Swahili. Korean. Yeah. Correct. I, I forgot the first one. I forgot Korean. The, the pressure. He's just building. All right. What's the score? That, that we got one more. Laugh, it is, it is four to you know four. Hank and Daniel four Hank to four. Hank and Daniel yeah. four to four. Mike, you like. Mike's I'm a spectator at this point. Mike is no, not, not Mike. You, if it's a tiebreaker, it's a tiebreaker. I'm, okay, I'm so, okay to be even with Hank. So again, the, right. word, the word in English is cyclone. The word in this language, and, and you're not going to get a, a multiple choice until we need it, Hank and Daniel. The word is ciclono. Ciclono. C-I-K-L-O-N-O. -O. It's, it's tied it's for Italian. everybody. Okay, here's your choices. Portuguese or Esperanto. Esperanto. Portuguese. Uh, Daniel Shaw wins. F you. Yeah, uh, F you, Daniel Shaw. <laughs> yes, the fish. Tank the fish. You're, I you're called still it the at best. the beginning. The best. We already lost. But see, I cheated because I mean, I had I had a conversation for an hour and a half in Portuguese using Google Translate. It was the most embarrassing <laughs> conversation of my life in Brazil <laughs> with our Brazil fans. It's great. Uh, All right. Well, congratulations, Daniel. Great job, everybody. Uh, well done. So uh, let's do this. Let's go around the horn and make sure we let everybody know how they can follow you on social media, find all your good stuff. Uh, Daniel, we'll start with you. Uh, severe Weather Australia, Global WeatherNet, Global Storm Chasers, uh, and Daniel Shaw AU and a host of other websites and things like that. Very good. All right, Hank. Just Google Tornado. You know, I'm going to do wow. that just to Learned see what happens lot. today on Tornado. Uh-huh. And he's going to uh -huh. end with that. All right, Mike. 
I don't know. You can look my name up. I'm everywhere. But, oh, hey, shit. we're okay, all three. Damn. We're all He's three right. on Patreon. We're all three on Patreon. I owe these two yeah. guys pushing me to yeah. do it. So yeah. Um, on top of the YouTube, which um, I'm on YouTube too, and I kind of push that because I've been enjoying. Um, YouTube has been um, kind of growing for me, so I've been kind of pushing people there and trying to do more um, content. Even though I get a lot of crap about my shaky cell phone video because I'm not Pecos Hank, but I don't really care. It's been a lot of fun. So, and then look me up on Twitter and Instagram or whatever. Okay, and that's uh, Mike Oblinsky, and for Hank, that's Tornado T O R N A T O. Hey everybody! Yeah, if, if, uh, it's amazing or, if you type a turbo, turbo in he Latin. He's actually first. He is actually first, and that annoys me. Very <laughs> good. So hey, if you've got a weather-related product or service, and you want to be precise in your marketing by reaching thousands of weather fans, go ahead and partner with us. Send an email to Phil at stormfrontfreaks.com for details. So let's go ahead and take a break so everybody can get a refill and uh, we'll be right back. Uh, we're bringing in Weather Trollbot 5000. All right. This is great. All right, good job guys. That was awesome. I can't believe you type in Tornado into Google and here's the first video you see on the <laughs> Is it <submarine>. really? <laughs> That's, That's amazing. Oh, not, not at the very, very top, but in the, in the video rundown. Just um, That's good. Okay. But Hank, all right, so yeah. as gentlemen, as I expected, we're going a little bit later because uh, you guys are just, you, you got some great stories and good stuff. Uh, so, hey, we'll come right back. Uh, Mike, are you doing okay? Are, are yeah, you okay apparently these storms are these storms are moving slower than crap, so they're way, they're still east. That so could be I promising. I just don't I want to I actually got a laptop Mike. now with a radar, so I can actually, oh, nice. look at that, technology. So, Interesting Apple. land spout warning on the uh, Benson storm. Have you got the update? Yeah, sure. Really? Don't mess Have with you, me. Go look at it, Benson. I am. You lying? No, no. Um, hey, Benson's um, south of Arizona. Yes. You need this on southern Arizona. It doesn't say land spout on here, does it? <laughs> hey, Greg. While I there's storm chasing, I got a question for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your name came up in conversation. Uh, I was talking with and, uh, with Anton Simon, and we were talking about your pilgrim footage. Yeah. And uh, is that can we? Is that licensable? How do you go about licensing your pilgrim footage? Can we use that with full credit? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. How do you go about licensing? Because is that does that belong to the TV show or can nope. you license that belongs nope. to you? I belong. It belongs to me. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. If if you guys don't know, Greg has some of the most uh, like creepiest shot of pilgrim getting hit. Man, I don't, nobody got it like he did. And uh, well, we were we were uh, we were on the north side of town. Yeah. Backlit, and, so you and can it was see backlit, the degree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it was it was a neat shot, but yeah, no, we we can talk off air, obviously. So, yeah. What do you what do you day. what's the project? Good. Thing? Uh, I'll get we'll we'll get to that. We're doing a uh, I'm doing a video with Anton Simon and Tracy Simon and Skip and Jennifer, and we were talking about some great captures, and your pilger shot came up, and uh, we were gonna. Yeah, see if okay. it was even in the cards. Sure, we'll read. Yep. We, we'll we'll chat. We got a cool. little budget. Yeah, we we can do this, guys. When we're all done and we finally shut down the live stream, you guys can do what you I need to do. I thought that would be educational for people listening, like how it goes down. You know, oh, how yeah. the whole licensing thing goes. We down. We can do that too if you want. That's fine. No, yeah, I'm done. We can do it right at the end of the show. <laughs> 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 all right. So as soon as Mike gets back, uh, we'll co we'll come back in. I'm gonna go to. Uh, Weather Trollbot 5000. Man, I hope you use mine. So I have where Mike Olbinski, Mike Trollbinski is trolling <laughs> me, but I didn't oh, get really? it. Oh, really? I didn't I, get I didn't it. That, I didn't get it to fill in time. You you didn't, and I apologize yeah, yeah. for that, but it, it does uh, takes a little more effort Lost because brains. I got to <laughs> I got to put all this shit into a, a computer tape. This is how old Weather Trollbot 5000 is. I've wow. got to like do punch holes onto the computer tape yeah. and then feed it, it into her yeah, and wait and, for the glue to dry. Yep. <laughs> so I, I just didn't have enough time and I apologize, but I will make sure we get that on uh, the next show that we bring her back in and, and do I tell that. You what, it's, it's really good to see everyone again. We really missed, I think the thing I missed the most this year was meeting up all my friends, but I've got to chat with a lot of you with obviously the global storm chasers 
group um but it's nothing beats being out there and running to each other for the first time and saying goodbye at the end of the season and sort of i hope we get to do it next year yeah I but um I guess time is going to tell if that's if that's going to be the case but yeah hey mz do you have that uh yep. screen share that i just uh get? yep right there I uh, shot this last night, guys. No, you um, did not. Nice. I, what? I, 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 I opened up on Instagram. I opened up my sunroof. What? And and shot above my head. There was a funnel forming. Uh, never did make it make it down to the ground, but we were in a, a tornado warning, so it was kind of kind of. I've never had this perspective on a crazy on I a think funnel. A few ants may have been displaced on that one. That may have been tornadic, but just very 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 brief and weak. Pretty wild, eh? That's beautiful. That's a beautiful yeah. show. So I thought that was kind of neat. That was the highlight of my wow. day yesterday. Yeah, that's be- uh, yeah, that's a lot better than the view we have here in Houston. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I've got blue yeah. skies in Sydney. We've had some, we've had some East Coast lows come through. We've had some decent sort of weather fronts come through. Mike uh, is a couple back. of a uh, couple of brief tornadoes that hit um, Victoria. Hmm. All right, cool. so Mike's back. All right, so here's what we'll do. Uh, we will we'll come back to weather troll by 5,000. And so what I'll do, I will introduce those of you that don't know who weather troll by 5,000 is. I will introduce that. Um, Mike is frozen. Mike test test. Yeah, he is. At least he's got a decent look. He's not doing like a, <laughs> it's something, uh, <laughs> not a derp, derp look. Uh, oh, and he's gone. We lost him. So, so I'll come back. I'll introduce Weather Trollbot 5000. And I've got two. So, I, I got one from Mike and Daniel before it, with enough time to get it in. Again, Hank, I, I apologize, man. I wanted to try and no, no, get yours not, in. Yeah. But next one, next time. I just uh, but wanted we, to pick on Mike. We'll definitely get that in. But I will introduce that. You guys are now kind of, all of you are kind of co hosts. So, you're welcome to chime in as, no, you know, and make comments about whatever, whatever you hear and Weather Trollbot is saying. <laughs> Uh, so we just have two tonight. We'll just do those two. And then, uh, MJ, are you good to go with any freak fan box stuff? The freak fan box was brimming. So oh, I have a you, lot. You oh. got some stuff. Okay. Yes. So cool. So we'll, we'll do freak fan box quick and then, uh, I will close it out. We'll be all done. You guys good? Uh, Mike's back. We're good. Oh, yeah. Mike, yeah. did you move? Like, what happened? Now, now you're like, no, my, I swear I'm in an air conditioned truck and my phone just went to like, said it was super hot and shut down. Like, that's never happened uh, before. Great. In, in, in there's Phoenix, a, there's in a little August, trick to that. You put the I'll air tell- condition event near the phone. I've got a uh, Sony right RX. Yeah, of course RX. you have a trick right? for it. That's brilliant. Well, yeah, I, I, guess I got some gaffer tape around the air oh, vent, and it, and it, it tages the airflow to the RX0 on the dash cam. It actually works. Amazing, <laughs> Craig. Don't give me that look. What's this? All right. So, uh, so Mike, uh, you, so Mike, you missed. But what we'll do is we're going to do weather troll bot. We have two examples. Uh, you and Daniel uh, were able to get me one in time. So we've got those two. We're right. going to go to freak fan box uh, quick, and then we'll close it out and we'll be done. Awesome. Oh. And and you guys can comment on anything you hear at this point moving forward. Okay. Kind of as you have been doing. It's really we kind of well, I was going to say what we've already right. done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we are coming back uh, in three, two. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to the Stormfront Freaks podcast. Hey, so every once in a while, we have an opportunity to go. I, I got a chance to go into the garage, and we can pull out Weather Trollbot 5000. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Weather Trollbot 5000, I found at a garage sale. Uh, she was really inexpensive. Kind of looks a little bit like um, uh, those of you that might know what a speak and spell is. Uh, those little <laughs> Texas instrument toys. It, it's kind of a little bit like that, but looks like a robot. Anyway, w- w- I bought her, and we now bring her in. And what we do is anytime we see any of our weather friends get trolled on social media and they respond, uh, we'll take that information, we plug it into her. And we find out what our weather friends were really thinking. Because in all honesty, we all know our weather friends are very professional. They respond very professionally uh, to the naysayers and the bad comments and the everything on social media. But we also know people are people. Right, Daniel? You said that. I'm a, you were an alien at one point. But, but you're a human being, right? Everybody's a human being. So we all have feelings and we all know what we're really thinking. So we plug all that information into Weather Trollbot 5000. And what she does is she kicks out what people were really thinking when they were responding mm. to that comment. So we had a little fun tonight because I asked our guest tonight, 
to uh, submit any trolls that they happen to come across. And Mike, I'm going to start with you. You shared uh, a troll on YouTube that made a post on uh, your uh, Vorticity 3 video. I don't even know if it was a troll. He might have just honestly felt this way. (laughs) <laughs> we, we don't know right like really what was going on that's the fun part of weather trollbot so here's what it is so th- this individual's name and and we're not afraid to throw people under the bus here um the name was dennis jack you i don't know j-a-c-i-w <laughs> you. portuguese <laughs> that's correct all right yes. so, awesome five three More so, points so here's here, here's what dennis said he said could do better if you took a course and had better camera gear. <laughs> you know, and th- this is, and if you haven't yeah. seen any of Mike's stuff, you know, you go ahead on YouTube, search oh, Vorticity. That was on my last. That was on my last one. I Vorticity three. So yeah. Or just, so or anyway. just watch or just watch BBC Earth Seven Worlds. It's all <laughs> no BBC. <laughs> and so here was Mike's response. Mike's a professional guy, right? And he just. He responded. He didn't like respond all bitter and, you know, things like he said, I'll work on it. Exclamation (laughs) point. That's how we respond. Awesome job, Mike. Here's what we do with Weather Trollbot. We're going to take that information and we're going to go ahead and plug it into uh, Weather Trollbot 5000. Oh, this is gonna be good. And so we, we gotta we gotta type that Ear in. Earmuffs, kids. Earmuffs. Yeah, ear, ear. <laughs> and then she spits out what Mike was really thinking when he responded. And sometimes she's a little slow. Here's what Mike Here was really go. thinking. You're just being fucking sarcastic, right? Okay, dipshit. I'll buy some better equipment than the 4K trash I have. Oh, and I better go to photography school because the years of experience I have doesn't come with some non-existent degree. Shit, I'll teach your motherfucking photo class. <laughs> so, Mike, you know, if that's what you were thinking, you did respond very professionally. That was, was might have nice. been close to that. <laughs> can we can we admire how Mike said all of that in just a in three words i'll work on it for it. yeah for, yeah there you go. Go. like all that it. Words, that's that four words yeah i'll work yeah. on it. oh daniel wins four. again ding four. ding 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 so that's that's now that's seven <laughs> seven to four all right so and, yeah. and so we, we got one more we're going to test weather trollbot 5000 uh and and so this was from daniel uh, and this was from this was a YouTube post on his El Reno tornado chase, and this comes from and again once again we we don't mind putting people under the bus if you're going to say this on social media you're opening it up for everybody right so Tony Alvarez says Picos Hank leaves you guys in the dust going after <laughs> tornadoes. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so Daniel, very <laughs> professional, right? Uh, he comes back and says, hello, Tony. I'll be sure to drive a little closer next time for your entertainment. Please accept my apologies. <laughs> That's a great answer, I, I wasn't Daniel. quite in the true core. I mean, I was pretty close to it. Two seconds. So, Two so we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and plug that into. Oh, this is so going to be good. <laughs> and I'll. I'll say this, I, you know, Daniel sometimes, you know, he, he's, he's got a large vocabulary, <laughs> but let's find out what he was really thinking. Here is what Daniel was really thinking. Fuck, you can Pecos yank me, you little bitch. I'll dust all over your face. <laughs> okay. Okay, Daniel. Well, you're, you're professional. Well, I mean, I mean, you type in tornado into Google, and well, thank you first. <laughs> While I agree, oh, like, God. Anyway. I could have been just me, but now I figured I'd bring my friends on. But uh, just, yeah, why not? All <laughs> right. So anyway, so hank me. we're 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 gonna go ahead. I told you her wires might have been crossed a little bit more this time around, but M- MJ, uh, I really think that's got to be the name of this show. <laughs> Which, oh yeah, tell Pico's me that. Yeah. yank me. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it starts, guys. That's, that's how it starts. How All right. So, anyways, uh, you know, if, if you happen to see any of your weather friends get trolled on social media and see a response by by them feel free to share it with us 
uh, on social media as well, and, and we might we might feed that to Weather Trollbot Five Thousand next time we pull her out of the garage. Uh, however, I might need to check her wiring a little bit, but uh, we're 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 gonna keep moving forward. Uh, MJ, I'm gonna go to you. Let's find out what's in our freak fan box. Drop me a line. You've got mail, baby. Yeah. All right, our uh, freak fan box was brimming full this last couple of weeks. Um, I'm, I probably not get through all of these, but uh, we had several folks give us weather. We didn't have a weather fools segment today, so I think people were missing that. Um, our friend uh, Jay Bigum, uh, Rob F, Lone Star Storm Chasers, and of course our good friend from Deutschland, Luna Light, uh, all came through with uh, weather fools uh, for us, and uh, we'll either post those in the episode one twelve show notes or maybe use those at a at a future uh, episode. So thank you, though, for everybody contributing those. Uh, Jennifer Short was really looking forward to this episode. Uh, she had. Uh, tagged all of you folks that are here today and said, how do it, how did I not know this existed? Subscribed. So thank you, Jennifer, for subscribing. And That's you picked fun. a good first show to listen, uh, to listen to for sure, or to watch. Um, Joe Mays, a future guest on episode 116 and our, on October 15th, um, tweeted to us, loving the show, just finished 111. Uh, how long have you been using StreamYard looking into the platform for my shows? Uh, actually almost one year exactly. Uh, I think it was August 8th uh, that we first started using this StreamYard platform, and we love it. So I uh, highly recommend that. Mm, very stable. It's a good system. Yeah, it, it, and it's very, very simple. Simple to use. Even, like, I can do it. So there you go. <laughs> uh, uh, Motor City Sattva 734 says, I have a fall drink for you guys to try. So this is right up our alley. Uh, it says, one Ichabod pumpkin ale and one or two shots of dark spiced rum. Ooh. I prefer Kraken, and oh, I will tell you that's my drink. Yes, yeah, yeah, release the Kraken. Nice <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, so I like I like where they're going with this. Uh, they also listened to the Twister episode and suggested we do Night of the Twisters Ooh. as a follow up. Uh, a couple more. Uh, Laura McDougal uh, says thanks for a great evening, Stormfront freaks. Uh, that maybe needs a little context. Um, <laughs> 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 L oh, okay. <laughs> Laura Thanks, was. Hey, uh, hey, was hey, wait, wait, wait. Was that for, for, was that for Hank or Dan? I'm counting here. Daniel's eight. L Laura was listening to the Twister episode while, of course, watching the movie. So that's what that one is all about. And then past guest Lori Bailey, who was on episode 104, uh, said, "Had to, and I'm going to share a picture if I can of this one real quick. Um, had to make sure I had my Stormfront Freak T-shirt when I stood in front of this haboob." Near uh, <laughs> nice. Gila Bend. Now I'm the boob on the board with a boob shirt. <laughs> uh, she purchased that through Helicity, uh, which, by the way, you can get uh, Stormfront Freaks merch there at helicity.co. You go to their site and click on brands to find the uh, Stormfront Freaks uh, merch that is available. Um, so that was a full freak fan box tonight. Thanks, everyone. Uh, if you would like to send us some comments, questions, or possible contributions to the show, you can always do so through Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Just search for the Stormfront Freaks or the old-fashioned email by sending to questions at stormfrontfreaks.com. That's it for tonight. All right, so I think that just about does it uh, for this episode of Stormfront Freaks Podcast. Thanks for listening or watching. And before I announce our next guest, uh, we always love your reviews, your comments, all that stuff that MJ uh, just went through. Um, but we also love it when you subscribe to the show. If you really like what you're uh, watching or listening to, usually on your phone or your computer, whatever app you're uh, listening or watching us on, there is a subscribe or follow button. You can just click that button, and it just guarantees you that the next time we have some kind of uh, new show, uh, you're going to get it right in your inbox the minute it becomes available, uh, and it's all free, which is great. So don't forget to do that. I do want to uh, shout out to our special uh, guest tonight. Thanks to Daniel. Hank and Mike, uh, you guys are outstanding. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, so thanks for uh, coming on tonight. Our next episode, we're going to be recording live on YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope, uh, or Twitter. This is going to be on Thursday, September 3rd at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Central. We're going to be with ABC News Senior Meteorologist Rob Marciano, so don't forget to miss that. And for MJ and Greg and, of course, <laughs> Daniel... <laughs> All seriousness aside. <laughs> wow. Don't forget to miss that. 
Don't forget to. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly yeah. What this is my I'll second my fucking drink tonight, <laughs> gentlemen. We're up for one hour and thirty-four minutes. And yeah, this seconds, this is a know. long, long fucking show. So uh, <laughs> it's commitment. It's content. This is content. So don't miss that. Uh, is what I, I guess intended to say. Uh, but for MJ, Greg, and and then of course Daniel, Hank, and Mike, uh, I'm going to go ahead and signal the all clear, and we'll catch you guys next time. So good night, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. All right, gentlemen, thanks and, so and much. We're, and we're still doing the raw side, aren't we? This is still oh, we're, raw right yeah, now. We're, we're still, still live. 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 If you look yep. in the upper left-hand I corner, we're still live. I won. All right, what's <laughs> Mike looking at? What's Can Mike looking at? throw a few more digs in there. Where are you <laughs> at? Where are you at on that, Mike? Where are you at, Mike? I'm in, uh, I'm in the path of it. I'm, cu- I'm north of the Tucson, so it's uh, it's, look at that. There's a big line nice. of storms. Oh, look, another yeah. tornado warning. Just kidding. <laughs> when is sunset? When sunset for you guys? It's in an hour and 45 minutes. So, um, are you going west? Well, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I want to go on a mountain here and overlook Tucson, and if they're going to get a giant microburst over it and some lightning in the next like hour, could be really good. But what do you think, Mike? Is that that looks pretty rainy? Is it going to be too rainy for Arizona, or is that a good thing? It's going to be more powerful, and you're going to get the vibrant lightning. Well, or do you not know? Well, I think we have some moisture from Genevieve. Is that? How, I don't know if it was that. That's the tropical storm. I can't remember how to if that was the correct name, but. A lot of times you get this tropical moisture and it makes the CGs hide, which I hate. Right. So right. Um, I'm hoping that it's not um, the precipital water does not go too high with this because that oh. does like kind of ruin everything at night. So I don't hey, think so. Hey, tonight. Mark, I think it's where are you here. at the moment? I'm on uh, northwest of Tucson on Tangerine Road. Northwest. Eh? If you want precise location, yeah. but yeah, Jump. it's it's, it's, it's this building. Is over. Right? It's right. Jump, it's coming right here. So jump southeast. That's 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 still yeah. far up on Little Town. There's another spotter just there. Just jump on the. Just like, hey, you know the area. Just no, I know. Edge looks good. Here's the thing: is the monsoon is not like chasing a supercell all the time because mon- a supercell you just stay with it and it's glorious. Out here, mm. you have to anticipate where it's going to be next, and it can be frustrating. You're not, and I go all the way down southeast of Tucson, and I get on those, and then it blows up right over town. And suddenly I'm behind everything, and it's just uh, it's fun. It's fun, but it's uh, tricky. Guys, okay. I hate to interrupt the party. I got to run. Yeah, me too. Oh, I, oh, I got to yeah, pick no. kids up, so I'm off. Do you, do you, right. do you and Hank need to pleasure. cover something? And do we need to? Uh, yeah. No, Hank. We'll we'll, we'll email. Yeah, we'll, yeah. I'll. Um, I don't know if I even have your email. I'll get What's it, your email? Greg. I'll get it to you. I'll okay, perfect. Right. Perfect. I love you guys. Thanks for having me on. That was see you, amazing to see you. Mike, Mike that was a hey, pleasure. Mike, good our luck, pleasure man. moving that forward for you. I'll have a good chase. Days, I look forward Mike. to seeing first. And thanks for and thanks for switching two hours for me. I really, really appreciate it. Mate, yeah. no I problem. I set up my alarm clock for six a.m. Just you know, <laughs> it's an eight a.m. wake up. Just whatever, whatever. <laughs> whatever. All right. I'll see you okay. Guys. Good night, guys. Later. All right, Greg. 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 All right. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end.